Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you what my morning kind of looks like and show you all the things that I kind of do to prepare. It's not super exciting but I just thought it would be fun to kind of see what I do in the morning so I hope you guys enjoy. Don't mind the lighting. I'm actually in my kind of bathroom <clears throat> vanity area and I just put on my makeup. I use this from Physicians Formula and it's super simple. I literally just like put this on and then I am going to do a little bit of bronzer and obviously the lighting's not very good so you can't see but it just gives a little definition. And then, um, obviously, I'm already dressed. I just got my outfit ready last night. So, just a big poofy scarf and a little sweater and some jeans and some boots. And then I'm just going to do my mascara. I already brushed my teeth, put on my deodorant and my spray that I've had forever. I'm just trying to use it up. <laughs> and then I'm going to put on some mascara and it'll be time to go downstairs. So now I'm just going to grab all the things that I need to be able to leave today. So I have my gym bag. Um, I'm training for a triathlon that is coming up in about a month. So I'm going to swim tonight. So I have my swim bag as well as my workout gear. And yeah, we're going to head downstairs to make lunch and get some breakfast. All the flight. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, so usually in the morning I talk to my fiance as he is on his way to work. And then um, sometimes that happens during breakfast or while making lunch, but we just talk every morning as he's just kind of driving to work. And I go to work after him, so obviously we don't talk on my way to work. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I bring to work for lunch and then what I have for breakfast. So hope you guys like that. Okay, so I know we have like the barest, like ugliest fridge ever, but whatever. So last night we made tuna noodle casserole and I just put it in a little container so I can bring it to work. So I'll be bringing that. And then I usually like to drink some of this in the morning. It's just this probiotic dairy-free dairy yogurt drink that I really like. And then a lot of the times I like to bring some kind of vegetable, so I'll bring some carrots. And that's about it in here. So yes, I was using the lighting from the fridge to make things look better, but here's kind of just the regular lighting in my kitchen. So that is some of what I'll have for lunch, and I'll show you how I'm going to bring some of this to work too. And then this is just where I keep my little lunch bag, and so I like to put that in there right away and I got that ready and then this is what I've been eating for breakfast lately just a small bowl of these honey nut checks um, my breakfast often changes but there's a bunny over there kicking around <laughs> sorry don't mind the <laughs> the bunny in the background but I just put it in this festive. Hold on, I'm gonna go give him a little carrot. I'll come show you guys. Okay, so I have my carrot in hand. And here you go, bunny. All right, now we have a little bunny over here, hi! <laughs> so like I was saying, I like to just put a couple of carrots into a little festive bowl and I'm honestly just using these baby carrots and boom pretty much my lunch is done other than getting this guy in a container so I can bring it lunch I like to bring some kind of vegetable some kind of leftover meal thing that has vegetables in it 
and then I'll usually grab some kind of fruit. So I usually grab about two of these little cutie clementines and throw those in, and then I'm gonna get this guy in there so my lunch is ready. Okay, so they actually have this in a big version and a small version. No, they're not sponsoring this video, I wish, but um, <laughs> I just really like this stuff. So all I simply do is pour it in. And yeah, I don't know why I'm showing this, but this is my easy trick way because this larger bottle is actually cheaper than the smaller bottle. So I'll just drink the smaller bottle and throw that into my lunch. And then I also have some of this as my drink in the morning with breakfast. All right, so yeah, I only have about like five minutes to eat, which is just fine because I'm just having some dry cereal. <clears throat> My goodness. Sometimes I'll have a banana, but today I'm just not going to. One of the biggest things with trying to be fit and healthy is that I'm just doing a lot of portion control. So I know that this is one cup and for this video, I'll pour it into here to be super cute. <laughs> because that's what we do in videos, right? We need to make them cute. And then um, I just use this little mug to put in my smoothie, yogurt smoothie. And then I always take a daily vitamin in the morning as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and take those. And I also like to take some vitamin C um, kids have just been getting sick lately, so I just have these two little vitamin C's, so I'm going to take those as well. And then I just eat my breakfast. Sometimes I'll give a little nibble to the puppy and um, I usually just watch a video. Right now I'm watching holiday recipes to be healthy, but usually I'll watch like Aspen and Parker or um, I don't know, the Try Guys or whoever sounds interesting at that time. So yeah, that's usually what I'll do. And sometimes I'll have to take this on the go. So that's just life sometimes. All right, so I finished my smoothie. I didn't get to eat very much of this and no more being cute because I gotta go. So we'll dump it back in there so I can bring it in the car. And then we're gonna go wash this out, grab the lunch bag and head out. So, okay, so we'll grab the lunch bag, cereal, and my water bottle needs to be refilled. goodbye to the cute puppy goodbye love you and then it's time to go guys all right so i got my cereal got my bag and we are going to get out of here i know it's dark i gotta put on my coat quick There's my beauty. <laughs> All snowy outside. I'm late, like I have been for the last uh, two weeks. Yay! I know that this is such a good work. Don't be so jealous, guys.
Hi, good morning. Good morning. After I did my morning duties in the lunchroom, which include just supervising the kids, helping them open milks, and all that kind of fun stuff, I decided to grab an educational game since it was Friday, and I just wanted the kids to have some fun. And they have this whole cabinet filled with a bunch of different educational games, both math and literacy, so I was just picking out one to play and kind of showing you guys the different options that they have. And these are from Lakeshore Learning, if you are interested. We are. Because since my, since my mom is at a work trip, it's boys' night. Ooh. Lucky. I like boys' night, because then we get to party. <laughs> what? I'm dumb. Okay, you could just tell me the number and the letter. 49. 49. What's your answer? Um, so your, your answers are this? So A is Yeah, you know. Okay. Just think. A is correct. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, roll the die. Oh, there it is. You're probably going to get a 6 and then you're going to trade places. So it's a 1, 2, and next to William. All right, grab your next card. Fourteen. Fourteen. A seven. A seven. One. I do a seven. Seven a. Yep. Yes. One. One b. Where's the guy? One b. Yep. Yeah. I love using learning games to help kids build skills. This was a main idea game, which is really helpful for comprehension and just kind of learning what that is. And I just loved it. They had so much fun and they were so excited when they got the right answer. All right, just finished with my first group. Now going to prepare for the next part of the day. What is our title? Madeline, make sure you're on this first page, sweetie. Grant, what's our title? Fun for Hugs. Fun for Hugs by Susan McCloskey. Okay, well this is a good one with some long pages, long words on our pages. Who would like to, actually let's have Lucia begin. She has our color copy today. Wait, which way do you want to go? Is that your business though? Go ahead, Lucia. But Grandma wasn't having any fun at all. Stop it, Hug, said Grandma. Said Graham. Said Graham, go and see what Meg is doing. All right, let's read this one together. Meg, Meg Graham, and Gramps all work together to make a new toy for hugs. They got an old toy mouse. So let's try this one together. Why don't you all get your pointers out and feel? Let's start the first way, like we read the first time. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see how our finger feels as we point to each word. Okay, here we go. We're gonna point to each word and read it. Each word. Here we go. Meg, Graham, and Gramps all work together to make a new toy for hugs. Okay, let's start again. Let's read it more fluently this time. Here we go. Meg, Graham, and Gramps all work together to make a new toy for hugs. I actually have the highest group in first grade, so I was just building fluency with them and just showing them two different ways to read this section. Is it okay?
okay that that last sentence was a little bit slower? Yeah. Of course. Reading fluently doesn't mean we're reading as fast as we can. It just means that our finger isn't just stopping on each word and we sound like a robot. Okay, we want to make it go nice and fluent. But we can slow down. It's beautiful. Okay. Let's read this one together. But Hugs didn't want to play with the toy. So I like to do a lot of modeling when I'm reading and just showing the kids what they should be doing. We read together often so that I can have the kids practicing and they can also hear how I'm doing it so that they, it can build their skills and make them better readers as well. Hearing kind of themselves compared to me. And again, like I told you guys, this is a tutor position, but I'm not really a tutor. I have, at least in first grade, I have 10 kids, and most of the other groups I have six kids. So it's really busy. We do different kinds of activities. We read at least one book a day. Here you can see we're doing, after we read that book, we're doing this little worksheet. So it's just asking a couple of questions about the paragraph, what to things we do in Maine and then it goes over a web this is actually a second grade worksheet but I am using it with them to kind of build some of those skills since they are more of the higher readers and um, I just wanted something to challenge them so again it's not really like a tutor in the traditional sense but I am kind of a para helping during that MTSS time and I just try to find different fun activities to do with the students each day to keep things interesting and fun and just a good experience with literacy. Alright, hi guys! I am just headed home right now and... got a little uh, light reflection on my face. Cool. <laughs> um, anyways, so the day went pretty fast. It was kind of an unusual day though because we didn't have a few of the grade levels with kind of the Christmassy stuff and holiday stuff going on right now. It just wasn't um, kind of the normal day that we typically have. So I filmed a couple of the grade levels that I work with, but for the most part, I actually um, didn't really take you guys along because we did do a lot of prep stuff today. So obviously that changed things as well and all that stuff. So currently I'm on my way home. I was going to go to the gym. I told you guys how I'm training for the triathlon. Um, but I just feel like the food I ate today didn't like properly fuel my body. And when I, I don't know, one of the big things I'm trying to do to be healthy is like using food as fuel to kind of get me through a workout or get me through the day. And it just seems like today I just don't have the fuel to do that right now. So I kind of want to go home and I'm still watching the road by the, by the way, you guys. Um, I want to go home and just kind of like relax a little bit and possibly get some kind of snack or something that's going to like fuel my body like peanut butter and apples or something like that and just use that to refuel and then possibly go a little bit later. I want to swim and I kind of despise swimming right now because number one, it is freezing outside and walking outside with your hair all wet is just kind of miserable because <laughs> it freezes and then your hair is all gross from the chlorine and it's just a bad situation. And then my hair takes forever to dry so having to, you know, um, get it wet and stuff is just kind of a hassle. So I'm kind of debating if I want to do that or not or whatever. So we shall see. 
if I can make it through the stoplight first. We'll see about that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Just waiting. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah, so anyways, I will let you guys go and kind of show you what I do after school, which isn't super entertaining, but I'll show you guys. Alright, we just made it home, gonna grab my bag and my phone, I know I packed this huge bag, <laughs> and then didn't even end up going to the gym, so that's cool, oh snow, Ugh. you know, Kudos to all of those people that film all the time because I don't know how they do it. <laughs> it is tough, I tell you. Home sweet home. And we're back. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of my video. I know when I got home, I didn't show a ton of stuff going on, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you see this stuff right here, I'm actually kind of redoing my room. So that's kind of why there's a little bit of junk here, but yeah, that is a pretty much what a good chunk of my day looks like. Most of the time I do go to the gym either in the morning or at night. Today was just kind of a special day because I end up working out and stuff like that. So it was a little bit different. That was weird. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> my phone just Googled something on my behalf and I didn't ask it to do that. So, anywho, um, I am going to go now. I know the lighting's a little bit funny. It's just because it's dark outside and I'm having to use some lights in here to help illuminate me. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a really good day for the most part and... Yeah, I can't wait to share with you my next wedding video and all of that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed and found some of this helpful. Um, and if you did, go ahead and give that like button a hit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.